The, this particular Mauser is estimated to be around in the late 1930s. Mm -hmm. it, is a, it is a commercial model, and you can tell due to the little ribbed kind of inset barrel thing, it's not one continuous piece. Okay. It's d difficult to actually say when this gun was made, because during the war, yeah, the um, archives were burned in Allied bombing and stuff like that at the Mauser plant. So at the best, you can get estimations as to when it was built. Okay. Yeah, the uh, machine work is excellent, and that is unpleasant. <laughs> this... Seems like it's going to be a joy. <laughs> Not nearly as smooth as you think it is. Yeah, I figured it'd be like the Mauser rifle. You know, three is probably enough. Okay. All right, here. And like I safety said, the um, if you recoil, might cause the safety to be okay. um, actuated, so. I mean, you kind of tuck under like a high power. All right, let's see if we can do this here. Maybe we can actually add some more holes to that. We'll go for a gut shot, C-zone. Oh, that is really soft recoiling, comparatively speaking. No, you're you're you still get around in there. Okay, okay. Pull the trigger. It's maybe it's, there it is. Yeah, you have to. The trigger essentially needs to be released all the way to reset. Okay, that's what it was. That is a cool gun.